Okay. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to take you through my daily activities. So I've already freshened up. So I'm just going to prepare some lunch because it's around noon. And I'm going to show you how I'm preparing my lunch. It's just but a simple lunch. This one, as you know, this one, kale and some ugali. So let me take you through the process. Let me do it quick so that I take you through my daily activity. I'm going to take my kale. I'm going to fry them, then cook some ugali, and then that is it. Then I take lunch and do my editing and recording for today. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and comment. For amazing, amazing recipes. Let's dice our onions. My oil is ready. I've already diced my onions, as you can see here. Let me check the oil. Yeah, it's ready. My oil is ready. I've already diced my onions, as you can see here. Let me check the oil. Yeah, it's ready. Here are my onions, as you can see. Yeah, we allow them to fry up. As they fry up, let's cut the tomato. Divide into two. Then move the stuff like this. Then I'm dividing the other half in the stuff. And then I see also in the center of the Yes, we finished cutting our tomatoes as you can see. We are waiting for the onion to cook. I'm happy to take you through my daily activity. Hope you will enjoy. Although my camera today is not clear because it's a bit dewy, but I'm sorry for that. Hope you will enjoy. Hope it's focusing well. Hope you are able to see my face. Okay, the onions are turning up well. Let's give them some time. Some time. Cooking is fun, by the way. But sometimes you feel like... But it is a fun activity. I can assure you. So let's do this. And remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Our target this month is only 100 subscribers. And also don't forget to follow Yummiest African Dishes on Facebook. That's our, that is our new page as from there. Now we are going to post this yummy, yummy ingredients. Yummy, yummy recipes there. So I'm going to add my... My tomatoes. Before I add the seeds, let me bring it over so that you can see what's happening, what's transpiring, what's cooking, what's popping. My tomatoes are cooking when this baby like that. And then I'm going to add cube my burgers are here and that's it then cook some of the
and have and cook some ugali, cook some ugali, and baba, and baba, cook some ugali, cook some ugali, and baba, baba, and baba. Yes, I love veggies and I also love meat, but it is wise if I take meat once, once, not like every day, not consistent. Because as you know, flesh is good. Oh, sorry. Flesh is good, but it's not good every day. Excessive or something is bad. So I'm going to add some salt so that it helps me. It helps my tomatoes in becoming soggy quite fast. As you can see, some salt. Then add my secret ingredient which is this, I use it in everything. This company that makes these cubes kindly heat me up so that maybe something kindly, this thing makes my meals yummy. I'd rather forgo all my spices, all the pine, the meat spice, the garam masala, and use only this. Because it has all, 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 all. It is a mixture of everything. Finally, subscribe, share, like, and comment. That's my my request from me to you, so that this our channel may grow faster and bigger so quick. Okay, the tomatoes are mashed. Let me bring it closer. So today I'm going to cook. I'm going to add some water because we don't have a company meaty accompaniment. So I'm going to make this kuma stew, not sauteed, but stew. No, you don't my friend. Because this is my first meal of the day, so I want to make it a bit stewy. So let me bring you closer after. I have some water. Here is water. Before I add some water, let me bring you closer so that you can see what's transpiring in my superior. Hope you can see. The tomatoes will be quite mushy. As you can see, I'm going to add water for the stew. Not too much. And then bring it to a boil. Bring it to a boil before adding the bogus. Yeah, it's boiling. Let me put my bogus in. That's it. And then stir. Stir like that as you clear up the tray. Stir like that as you clear up the tray. That's what I say. Okay, so. In the Tunush Kanayo, my holding budget over here. Then you start like this. Mm -hmm. It's coming out very young. It's almost ready. Mm. Yes, I'm going to add some kidogo water so that it cooks. Let me chop again. Like that. So that it steams. Meanwhile, let me prepare how I'm going to cook my belly. This is my superior.
Then I'm going to put this one cup of water, I think is enough for myself. This one is uh, 250 ml. I think 250 ml of ugali is not that big. It's enough. Let me just on the back because of the curl. Yeah, like that. As you can see, yeah, it's my water for ugali. Then, I think my mother is lazy. But before I present this burger to you, before I present my burger to you, let me cook my bread. Cook my bread. As Africans, we we do like this. We we pour a small amount of unga on your maji ugali for it to simmer fast. To simmer faster, not fast. To simmer faster. And then we coroga the ugali. The kind of unga I'm using is that one from Poshomel, Kisiyag. I'm not using the sifted one because I needed all the fiber in it, all the nutrients that comes from the maize. The sifted one, the cotyledons have already the the cotyledons are the ones which are being grinded. But when you when you when you sugar it, when you grind it in manual manual kishiagi, manual manual milling machine available at the shop at the market centers around, then you are able to to grind the me the maize with all its component including the seed coat which is the fiber which is the fiber that is being removed from the sifted maize from the sifted maize meal okay so the cotyled the seed coat sorry the seed coat helps us in digestion it is the fiber that in a idea could digest so fast and then this cotyled is the sweet you know, kitu ina making the maize meal to be your term in a kwanga 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 So, is a maize milling company, they tend to share, they tend to remove the seed coat and sugar the cotyledon. You hear me? I'll one day show you what I'm saying by seed coat and cotyledon. When I remove seed coat, that one will be when I, I will be preparing, mm. when I will be preparing the berry, my own berry. Mweko, the water is ready. It has come to a boil. Let me show you how it looks when it has come to a boil. That's how it looks. Okay. So let me take you through this process after it has boiled to that one. You add you add unga like that. Like that. And then stir in. Put stir in like this until it mold. It becomes. It stops becoming woody like. Equal something stiff. When it's still soft and sticky, you're going to add some more flour, not too much, but just kidug. Sure the spray you are using is heavy so that your ugali don't burn okay let me show you let me bring it closer as it's similar you can see you 
can see there is some steam. Hope you are able to see like that. It is cooking quite well. Yeah, let's finish it up and do the necessary. Then do the necessary. Then you mold it into a bowl, a small bowl like that, and you zimmer the gas. Our bowl is ready by the way. So I'm going to take a plate, a nice plate, from my story. Okay. Here is my plate. If you are my real time subscriber, you'll know that. I love this type of plates. And then put it like that. Like that. Then put this freer there, pour water in it. Okay. Okay, like that. Then let me show you my ugali. Here is my ugali. Yeah, that is my ugali. Let me put some boga in it. With some steel. Okay, this is my final meal. Remember to subscribe, share, like, and comment. See you in my next vlog. Adios. Bye. Muchas gracias. Bye. Love you.